Hey everybody, Christian Grust here. So one thing everybody needs on their go-to battle rifle or whatnot is something that a lot of times people don't think about and that is backup sights. So you can see on both of these rifles right here, I have a set of backup sights. They are by different companies. Uh, so let's uh, take a look at these guys and check them out and uh, talk a little bit about them. So what we have here is two drastically looking rifles, uh, firearm platforms, except uh, they're actually more similar than you might think. Uh, this one here is the Brownells BRN 180, 10 and a half inch in 300 blackout. And then over here is actually a 10 and a half inch SBR. And uh, I went kind of different directions as far as the backup sights on both these. So I'll turn them over so you guys can take a look at them. Uh, so for the SBR, uh, I'm actually running the Troy backup sight. So these are the HK style front backup sight. And then on the rear side here, of course, we have a uh, flip up backup sight as well. And uh, I've been using these Troy ones for quite a number of years. They are actually my go-to backup sight, if you will, uh, for a number of reasons. Um, they actually, are very robust so yes they're considered backup sites however i'd have no problem whatsoever using them as a primary site for a few reasons uh, the rear site does have a nice windage adjustment here they also have a button release for the flip up so they flip up very easy without pressing anything but if you want to push them back down you have to depress this button right here in order to do so so the same thing goes for the front sight. And they make these in a couple different styles. So this is the HK style front sight, but they do make another one that's like an AR style uh, eared front sight. I mean, they both do the same thing. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's just kind of a personal preference there on that. Um, and they also make these, these are the standard heights. They also make these in a micro size, a micro height size uh, sight. All right. So let me show you what's on the Brownells BRN 180. And that is actually, this is the first rifle or firearm that I have chose to go this route with these sights. And these have been out for quite a while. And I'm a little disappointed in myself that this is the first time I actually tried these because they're pretty freaking cool. But these are the Magpul Pro backup sights. I do use also the uh, Embus sights the polymer polymer ones for my my pool and those are really good but honestly the polymer ones in my mind are much more suited for a backup site whereas these pro versions i would really not have too much finish use using these as a primary site the one disadvantage that i see on these guys all right so here's the front site it does have of course elevation adjustment and then on the rear site it has uh, windage adjustment there. It also has a couple different uh, peep sights on the rear here. But the one disadvantage I would say to these particular sights here over the Troys is the fact that in my mind, they are more suited towards a true backup sight as opposed to a site that you could use all the time, all right? Uh, these guys do not have any sort of a button to release them to, uh, you know, once you deploy them to keep them locked in place. And because of that, you know, if you're 
happen to be using these as your primary sights and you are shooting around barricades or obstacles, stuff like that, you could very easily bump one of these things just as I did there with my hand and then you lose your sight picture. So because of that, in my mind, these are only suited for use as a backup sight. They are metal instead of polymer, so they are a little bit more maybe durable. Um, but, uh, you know, as much as I like these, I'm not so sure that I'm gonna buy another set just because of the fact that the they really don't do anything more than the polymer ones do offered by Magpul. All right, so if you're looking for a good set of backup sites, definitely go over and check out my friends over at Brownells. They have both of these available over there. They may, may or may not be in stock um, at the time of this uh, video being made. However, just uh, sign up for their in-stock notifications. Sometimes they allow you to place something on back order. So as soon as it comes in stock, they'll charge you and ship it, whatnot. Um, but definitely uh, check them out. There's quite a few other backup sites available i say never skimp on sites okay you can get really cheap ones uh probably the cheapest ones that i found that are halfway decent are actually the utg pro uh, i think they're called the pro wedge backup sites those are pretty dang good but really my go-to are these troy backup sites they they really set the standard in my book for a set of backup sites and actually can be used for primary sites as well so all right, so that's about it. Uh, what backup sites do you guys prefer? Put them in the comments down below, and I appreciate everybody watching and subscribing, and I will catch you on the next video. Y'all take it easy.